Hello there guys, Francis Greer here and today I've got a new cu statue custom for you all. This is the Incredible Hulk. He measures roughly just under 14 inches tall. That's including the, the weapon as well. Uh, so the actual main figure itself is probably about 12 and a half, 13 inches tall. Uh, originally made by a company called Kotobukiya or Kotokubaya, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, it's made, I think it's made of PVC. It's all one big thick solid piece, so it's uh, it's made nice. You know, it's not gonna warp or bend or anything. It's based on originally the movie Hulk from the from Avenge, uh, from Marvel Avengers, uh, but I decided to repaint mine and I made him a little bit more comic book style rather than the film style. Uh, totally uh, re -fair, rebuilt all this right from the bottom up. Uh, totally repainted uh, the Hulk. I added a torn off 50 cal or 50 caliber uh, turret uh, gun that looked like he just ripped it off the back of a uh, armored vehicle to use as a weapon. He's going to throw it at someone or hit someone with it. Uh, the base, I built, I basically yeah, built the base up using a variety of different materials. Uh, there's some wood in there to keep them nice and steady and then I sculpted around the wood with air dryer modelling clay which built, fills out the bulk. Uh, I use air dryer modelling clay because it's the cheapest clay that you can get and obviously it air dries uh, but the problem with it is it shrinks but if you just want to use it to fill out something then it's great. Uh, and then I added uh, bits of broken up rocks, etc., from using old stale dry bits of uh, Super Sculpty. Uh, if you're interested in how I did that, uh, check out my model and tips section. It's model tip number six, uh, where I actually showed how I actually created this. It's a nice little tip if you don't know about it. Uh, the Iron Gear uh, was actually belonged originally to a Street Fighter 2 model which uh, was Kami from Street Fighter 2. I think it suited the Hulk more than it suited Kami so I decided to hot glue it in place and then build the rocks up around it and I like it because it looks like it's like kind of bent under the weight of his foot like it continues under the foot so it's a nice little touch I thought. Uh, I added two generic army barrels I decided to uh, knock one over and glue it in place so it looks like the ground's been uh, uneven and disturbed and you know with the power of the Hulk hulking out to obviously knock them over and with the size ratio of a barrel to uh, actual the size of Hulk you know that uh, Hulk is uh, huge so it gives a little bit of uh, scale I think to the model. Uh, the base is just a generic wooden base it actually was originally to a lamp which came in useful because where there was a hole just under where uh, Hulk's foot goes and it was for the wire to plug into the mains so I decided to use that hole to uh, screw a screw up uh, through uh, the Hulk's leg so he's, uh, he's not going to go anywhere, he's glued in place, he's screwed in place and he's not, yeah, he's not going to fall off, he's not going to because originally the original model came with uh, magnets in the feet so originally I added some magnets to the base as well and I thought you know I'll, yeah it works quite well but uh, it only takes like one knock over and you know and he'll uh, rip the barrels off and he'll probably break apart himself the only other thing I did to this is uh, I filled in the gaps on his arms because there was quite some bad gaps uh, with the original model I thought so I filled in that one there I filled in this one there and I do believe un there was like a weird bit of extra plastic under his armpit on mine so I had to uh, cut that out sand it down and then add a little tiny little bit of waves in there to uh, sculpt over it to make it look more natural uh, yeah, uh, worked out really well. The actual weapon I got from like a like an army set, like a little army man set. Uh, I built it in two parts, so it's like the front part, 
which just comes out via a pin there you go and then the same with the top part comes out with a pin so if you can see that or not so I'll try and get back in there there we go so I've got two display options I can either have it really bent like that where it's bent under his uh, his grasp or I can turn it around so it's only slightly bent and not or not fully all, all the way me myself I like to display it like that which I think gives a nice force of his strength okay guys here's a close up this uh, statue was actually the f my first time using an airbrush so I uh, airbrushed on all the uh, different various of greens on there came up quite nice I thought if he looks kinda shiny it's probably because I'm filming this at night under tungsten light so he's not that shiny uh, compared to real life so I tried my hardest to make these look like purple jeans I know you don't really get purple jeans well you probably can somewhere but uh, you don't really see them that much but uh, I thought I did a good job adding all the little uh, worn the worn little and the rips there nice white colour I decided I had a few little bullets sticking out because obviously the bullets would fade through. So I decided oh, via a strip. So I decided to uh, add like a little few, and they decided to uh, that they were snapped off or broke off when he hoped out and ripped it off the uh, back of the vehicle. So yeah, all in all, I'm really happy with the way this one turned out. Uh, please. Uh, Check out my other videos if you're interested in uh, model customs or statue reviews etc and uh, if you've got any comments please comment below. Please click the like button and share on Facebook and Twitter and uh, see you next time. Thank you very much and goodbye.